Hey, I'm Paige. I'm an activist for health and empowerment. And today I'm going to show you how to sleep after you've had a mastectomy. And if you've never had a mastectomy before and you just stumbled upon this video and you're like, why are you showing us how to sleep? You probably think this is the most unnecessary video, but if you have had a mastectomy, if you are planning to have a mastectomy, then you completely understand why this video is necessary because it is so hard to find a comfortable position to sleep in after your mastectomy. This is something that nobody told me and I was so unprepared because I'm a stomach sleeper. I was a stomach sleeper before my surgery. I could never sleep on my back. I could never find a comfortable position. And so I was like, how am I going to sleep on my back after my surgery? Because you absolutely cannot sleep on your stomach after your surgery. And I was like, what am I going to do? I'm going to have all these sleepless nights. So I don't want you to have to go through that same experience as me. So I have got you. I have the simple solution. <laughs> the most important thing that you need is a neck pillow trust me on this we all have one of these like from traveling and whatnot so if you don't have one though definitely order a neck pillow this is going to be your new best friend the second pillow that you need is a I call it a rolly you need like a rolly pillow um, I got this one from billow but any kind of pillow that is like this shape this is also gonna be one of your best friends you need one of these like a cylinder type pillow and then also like a really comfy like pillow that kind of molds to your head. I got this one from Target. It's like $15 and it's amazing. I swear by it. It's my favorite pillow. Um, so I'll link something for all of these types of pillows. I'd also like to note that I am so grateful to Mentor who sponsored this video today. Thank you so much for partnering with me on this video. It means so much that you care enough about the community to help us and our sleep after our mastectomies. It means so much to me and to the whole community, I am sure, because getting good sleep is key for recovery. So anyway, let's get to it. So if you've just had your surgery, this is going to be your best friend, like I said, because all you can really do is sleep on your back. So what you're going to do is obviously oops, crawl into bed and you're going to put this under your neck and you're going to get your fluffy pillow, like I said, and you're going to have like a really hard time moving because you probably still have your drains in. And this is like the most uncomfortable part of the whole mastectomy experience. So I'm really sorry if you have your drains in right now. I totally feel for you. Ugh. The drains were the worst part for me. Once I got my drains out, I was like, yes, I can move and groove again. But yeah, the drains really were terrible. So I feel for you and I'm here for you. Um, but anyway, so you're gonna put your neck pillow behind your neck, obviously, and you're gonna lay down like this. And this is gonna help you sleep on your back because it really supports your neck. You put your arms like this. And for whatever reason, this was like the comfiest thing for me. Without my neck pillow, I could not sleep, but with it, I was like, ooh, I'm good. And for a little extra, um, let me grab this. My, this like just really also helped me go to sleep. Like having um, an eye mask really was so helpful too. So I would just put my eye mask on and that really just helped me shut down. So this was key for me. I just was like, all right, I'm ready for bed. And the neck pillow was key. So fluffy pillow, neck pillow, and you're good to go. But once you've kind of graduated from this stage, so really once you have your drains removed and once you get the A-OK -okay from your, I love that I'm just like talking like this to y'all, like, hey, what's up? Um, anyway, once you get the A-OK -okay from your surgical team that it's okay to start sleeping on your side again, which ask them, get the clearance first, then that's when this baby comes into play. So I'm gonna show you how I started to gradually start sleeping on my side because now I fully sleep on my side, which is amazing. So once you're done with this, you can keep this and it's still helpful to like kind of go into the next stage. So um, you're going to use this pillow kind of as like your buffer between your foobs. So foobs is what I call my boobs after my mastectomy. Um, so that's like kind of what the term that I use and that a lot of people in the community use, but you can call them whatever you want. But anyway, so kind of start here and you kind of like just start gradually going toward what feels comfortable for you and you have to go at what level feels good so like i use this and i also use my arm as a buffer so you can start like this and putting it under your arm and slowly like okay does that feel good you know start sleeping like that and kind of start moving toward which way is going to feel good for you using this arm also as kind of a buffer as well 
And this is like a really soft, nice little rolly pillow for your boobs. And eventually, once you're ready, you're gonna use your left arm, or if you face the other way, your right arm, but I'm gonna use it facing you guys, obviously. So use your left arm as a buffer, and you're gonna put this in between like this and kind of hold onto it. And this is gonna be the best way that you can start sleeping on your side again. It's so comfortable, your boobs feel safe and protected. And then you're gonna stop using this eventually because you're not gonna really need it anymore. And your head's gonna feel very supported with your big fluffy pillow that you already have. And you're gonna keep it like this. This is gonna be super soft and comfy and it's gonna really support your boobs and make them feel really good. And that's really why these pillows were created from the billow in the first place. Um, but you can really use any kind of cylinder type pillow like this. So I always like to have something protecting my food, like my arm I've noticed I use. I'll go like this and hold on like this, something like that. But this is really how I started sleeping on my side again, and it's been amazing for me. And now I fully am able to comfortably sleep on my side, no problem. And it really all is in part to these three different pillows. So I really hope this is helpful to you. I wish that I had a video like this to kind of help me ease into this process because I felt so lost. And like I said, I was a stomach sleeper, which was the hardest part for me was learning comfortable positions to sleep in after my mastectomy. And these were the only way that I was able to go from sleeping on my back comfortably to eventually sleeping now on my side, which I'm so grateful for. I really don't sleep on my stomach now, but I will tell you this for the stomach sleepers out there. I can, if I want to, I just, I don't know. I just happen to sleep on my side. But if I ever am like laying at the pool or something like that, I can fully lay on my stomach now, which is amazing. I never thought I would see the day. So if you are just starting out or if you recently had your surgery, just know that there is hope and um, healing is coming your way. So if you ever need anything, please let me know. You can always send me a message here. Send me a DM on Instagram. I am always here to help answer any questions you have. And I hope this was helpful.